Ooh, so it looks like this is going to be the battle of who is actually the worst waifu. Ooh, some some hate on that side. Dude, Lorelai is confirmed terrible person. I will agree, just in the terms of speedruns. Like, if if AI is invented and it's based off of Lorelai in this game, like, humanity is just screwed. But immediately, things we can notice, these guys are playing on a little bit lower of a level. I will say the rules were kind of a little bit lenient. We didn't want to push it too low, but we let the opponents agree on the level to play on for the most part, so. And it seemed like uh, you had like a lot of casual entrance as well. Mm -hmm. it, there, it wasn't like too big of a prize pool to entice people, and plus you don't see people of these communities travel around that well. Right. Travel around that much because, you know, it's not not a sustainable way to live when you only have like three tournaments that barely give any money the whole year. But we, I don't... We, we did get some good representation, and most of these people were locals, and it's cool to see people, you know, actually understand the game pretty well. Yeah. And like, we, we definitely don't mean casual in the in a, in a degrading term because we definitely love it when you uh when people come onto the discord and 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 get started and say like hey i played this game a lot as a kid and i'm so glad i found this community and we just we tend to embrace that sort of thing as as communities really should in my opinion i told you so can't win them all so right now it seems like both both are having a hard time keeping up chains and I, I could I think that's a little bit to them playing with some low stacks as well that usually won't help all too much. They're finding combos every once in a while though. But we'll see as the time progresses, it's probably gonna push them to that limit to where they're gonna have to act faster. And they'll have uh, some more blocks to work with, so who knows, we might see some more chains being broken off later on. Yeah, and I think you might also see, uh, maybe they'll start to like actually set up chains rather than uh, just clearing what they see. I'm gonna take you down. Because usually, I see right now like they're just going for some, just like whatever clears they can find, even if it's just like clearing like three blocks, which isn't gonna do anything. I told you so. So it seems like just, they're just trying to get their uh, trying to get their bearings right now. But it looks like uh, Gobat is, is having a little trouble with his stack of raising uh, probably a little faster than he intended, and I think that's going to be it for him. Yeah, we, we saw the, the pressure of the stack rising, he just couldn't quite keep up with it, and uh, Kyo himself was getting some pretty good chains to send off, so he's going <laughs> to take that first round here. Now, do you know what the scroll speed of S hard is starting out? Because I swear it's like not as fast as, as level four right here. You know, it's probably not. Like, to be honest, I think the S hard engine's pretty lenient to what you can do with it. I'm not sure how fast the blocks clear. I, I sometimes say it's just level one speed, but I think I've been told it's not for S hard. I, I don't know in specific. I yeah. kind of, I've experimented with things, but most of the time I, I just play the game. I'm gonna take yeah, you're not one of those heavy testers like, I think like you may do some of that and the KSS and cards. Yeah, we, we got a good community behind it who's put in work and I'm, I'm glad things have been figured out to this day and times for speedruns have been optimized we have tournaments like this going on for versus because it's cool to see a game that is 17 years old still being played you know quite heavily i would say compared to a couple years ago yeah this game is, is honest it's, it's timeless like it was the first game i ever played and i am i can still keep playing it it is just the very ex the very experience of swapping blocks and, and clearing them is just very zen to me yeah, once again, we see these, uh, we see Kyo and Gobat uh, just trying to get some action started, and 
I, I think I can see why they're afraid to raise the stack, because I do get the impression that it's raising a little faster than they're used to. And we, we did see in the last game that uh, Kobats, he got a little overwhelmed by, by the scroll speed, and combined with the, the garbage that Keo sent over, uh, that's what led to his first game loss. So it's probably just, uh, you know, just them trying to play it safe for now. I'm gonna take you down. All right, so we got Kobats. He's got a really high right stack. It looks like he might find a chain here. Unfortunately, he didn't get that green connected, but he's got to lower the stack because he's gonna be topped off pretty soon. Hey, better. Uh, oh, oh he got the clears if he drops it here. Oh, oh come <laughs> he on. just got it in enough time to reset his stop time. But he's still dealing with the high stack. He's gonna make it clear soon, dude. He's on, escaping clear. death right now, dude. <laughs> so clutch. Oh, Ooh, that's gonna that's gonna send over a a good amount of garbage. Yeah, he's gonna have Keo topped off right now, so it's kind of roll reversal right now. But he, uh, Keo he gets drops a quick it back clear. down. Yeah, he, he gets a quick clear there, and uh, they're pretty much tied right now, though. Keo's been finding clears more often than Kobats is, so I'd say Keo definitely has the edge here. Dude, Keo going for the, the all the all combo garbage right here. But honestly, that's 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 fine here, because as as we have seen, uh, Kobats is having a difficulty adjusting to the scroll speed here, but he does get that clear on the fours. Dude, it's, it's a party of fours right now. You got that scroll speed going pretty fast right now. Is Kobat's uh -oh. gonna manage to find himself out of uh -oh. the situation again? Uh, no! Oh, uh, oh, he went for the four. He should have just cleared the greens right there. Yeah, unfortunately, he did have the right idea. He knew his greens were lined up. Just went for a little bit of an overextension there. So he's gonna find himself down 2-0. Still possible to make that comeback, but it is best two yeah. out of three, so he will, even if he does lose this round, he'll have his chance to come back next time. Dude, Keo, I guess the, the game just gives him that uh, that free seven right there. I told you so. Ooh, and some, some nice, a nice quick chain by Keo right there. So, was there any Wario's Woods at this tournament, or is that game just too incomprehensible for it to have any tournament about? I don't want to say necessarily it was ruled out. I think the schedule was pretty set in stone beforehand. They were open for additions, like Puzzle League was a late ad, but I think the schedule was just so packed that it really couldn't have been an option. Though, uh, well, go ahead. Well, I was gonna say, like, it sounds like this con was more tournament focused. Oh, for sure. There, like, it, there was different competition, or like different things you could do. Like, I think there was a like a cosplay contest. There were vendors everywhere you could buy stuff, and they had panels. But oh, nice! Definitely, the whole thing was centered around Smash Bros. And Smash Bros. was a huge tournament. They had some of the best names out there to play. So. Dude, some of the best names, such as uh, Mango and Hungry Box. Such such too. as is Jim is <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy X, and the the Smash Bro himself. Jimmy X. Dude, I you you think I don't keep up with this stuff, but I I know who the big names are. Well, Kobats is not <laughs> wanting to go away right here, so he manages to take his first round. He's like, you know what? Maybe I can make yeah. this reverse sweep. I think Cloyster getting eliminated just set Warline to rage mode. I told you so. I told yeah, we can you see so. that they're. I told you so. Yeah, Q Q has the right idea by just like he's identifying these these fours and fives, and I told you so. uh, it's just a, a important to send over whatever you can. Like 
whether or not that's just a bunch of chain garbage, whether or not it's a bunch of combo garbage. I'm gonna I take you down. down. I you told won't. You can't win them all. And it looks like that Akio is, uh, he's, he, he's learning how to, uh, set up the, set up the clears from the garbage. Because he did set up a nice, uh, two chain six combo there. And I think that, I think his scroll speed has been getting a little better, so, like, maybe he, maybe he played the, he, he probably played this in the past and he's getting, he's getting warmed up. Which is a lot of the case with this game, like, going into this game without some practice, you can have some stiff fingers or cold fingers, and, you know, sometimes you're just not going to find the matches you normally would. Right, and usually to enter one of these tournaments, you have to have some level of experience. Only, even if that only entails having played the game before and being familiar with the mechanics. You won't. So both both these guys are keeping their stacks pretty low at the moment, even even lower than previous games. I feel. So I think it's just going to come down to who is who's going to bite the bullet and, and raise the stack and have more to work with first. I think they're going to have the advantage here. He is going to send over the shock block. But that doesn't really help very much unless you send over a lot of garbage. But this is a, a this is a good garbage pattern uh, for Kyo on on Kobat's side because there's now Kobash is going to have to clear three uh, separate garbage layers. Dude, and and we all he alternates with another shock block. Yeah, this is going to so be rough is... when Kobat actually <laughs> starts clearing this. Yeah, Not he's to gonna mention, have to find. He's got that What's four it? combo down Can't there too, so that's a little bit hard to deal with. And the speed's drastically raising right now too. Kobats will yeah. need to make a play. He's getting a couple chains though. You uh, won't. I think yeah, this is probably gonna be it. Yeah, that was a this a barrage that Kyo sent over. Alright, so Kiyo manages to hang on. He's gonna take that first game there. It looks like are they gonna go for a character switch right now? Or maybe they didn't know it was best two out of three. One or the other. Yep, and they did notice how long the matches were taking, so they're gonna move it up to level six now. So this is gonna they were struggling a yeah. little bit with level four. Let's see how they adjust the six too, because yeah, I think you can see them their reaction on the camera. They look like they're uh, they're ready for some difficulties here potentially. <laughs> so one of the immediate differences you can notice is probably the most important one too. The blocks are going to be clearing quicker. So it you might see less chains from both of these players because it is really hard to time those. As well as other differences you're gonna see is the stacks generally going to raise faster. Ooh, look at that four chain from Keo. Give up? Who's the best? Immediately putting on pressure. Maybe uh the higher level was his key to getting these higher chains. He pulls off a three chain there too. I'm pretty sure it was mostly accidental, but you know, you take those when it comes to PPL clearing garbage, because it happens to everybody. You just, you already had that clear lined up, and you're like, alright, that's cool. Yeah, like, honestly, there have been times where, like, I've, if you have a ton of blocks on the screen, and you have, like, a ton of blocks moving with whatever you're doing, sometimes, like, you'll have your chain, you think you've dropped your chain, but then you get a random cleat, you get a random chain that you didn't expect, and then you're able to keep going off of that if your reflexes are fast enough, so... It, it, it is a part of the game, the accidental chains. Although it's pretty terrible when you want to drop your chain and it accidentally gets another one, but that's... That, that's, that's, uh... That's one-player stadium mode talk. Mm-hmm. Alright, so I would say this is pretty comparable to what the... 
three minute timer was running at on level four here. So the stack raising much faster and that's gonna put Kobats in a harder position because he had less stop time to work with as well there. So Keo continuing his dominance right here, taking the first round. Yeah, it seems it seems to me like Kobats is is, is constantly on the defensive. It seems like Keo has a a, a bit of a better feel for the game. He's able to send uh, a lot more compared to Kobats. Kobats just feel seems like he's feeling out the game and seeing what he can get, while Keo just gets a lot, a uh, lot more chains and combos to try to top him off as best he can. Don't give up. Give up? Who's the best? And you notice that Kobat is, he's just clearing the, the regular threes, and uh, they're having opportunities for him to get some combos, but he, he's been missing those. I think that's another sign that he's just trying to get things field out, or he's just trying to get whatever he can at the moment. He does find a, a five there, and there's another five. He can, oh, you can see that he went for the, the, the chain there, but got it too late. I think mostly a lot of the reason why they're not finding these chains as well is they like to make most of their clears at the top of the stack, so you're not going to really find any follow-ups there unless you get pretty lucky. Uh, Kobat's doing some cleanup work right now, though. He, he cleared that bottom garbage block, and he managed to lower his stack a little bit here, and he got that clear there, so all of his garbage will now be gone. Bottom blocks to work with. Yeah, if, if you clear from the bottom, then blocks are going to be falling and you'll be able to set those up for, for change proper. Oh, he's in trouble here, though. I think this is... Yeah, he did not have any, any good setups there. Oh, he's going to lose game two of this second match. And this, this was stated a little bit earlier and mentioned during like some of the tournaments yesterday that were streamed like uh since this is mostly just a local based tournament we did have a lot of local players show up you know a lot of them lesser in skill which you're kind of seeing in this match right now but i think it's pretty cool to see the mindsets like we mentioned this during Puyo yesterday you, you see these people who you know can't really see all the matches ahead of time but it's nice to mm -hmm. analyze and try to see what's going on in their brain as they're making these matches and getting these chains and combos. Yeah, because we, we definitely don't want to degrade anyone for not having the skills as, as some other people. Because honestly, the whole the whole point of this tournament, and I saw this at the, in the GDQ tournament, was just to, you know, like, hey, this is a game I played before, I think it'd be fun to, to play in this tournament. And there's really, there's really nothing, it doesn't have to be anything more than that. So I'm glad to see that these guys, on camera, it looks like they're they're smiling, having fun. So, and I, I do like, you know, we get so, some of the higher level players, like, sometimes get a little too caught up in the competitive aspect of things. You, you forget to just, sometimes just play the game and have fun doing it. But we have Kobats dealing with a high stack again if he doesn't react immediately here, which he does. He saves himself for the time being. Yeah, he gets to clear there, so he's gonna he's gonna give himself some relief for now. And now it's like Keo is he was dealing for a little bit of garbage there for a bit. But now it seems like he's he's gotten his mojo back. He's not dealing with garbage at the moment. Yeah, and Keo's just keeps delivering this pressure with all the combos sent. Even with him clearing most of the garbage here, he's going to be pretty much topped off here. So he's going to have to Ooh, do Can he find... Work. No, he should have dropped that. If he would have dropped that one uh, purple down before, he would have got the clear there. He's still surviving, though. He's managing the last, but Dude, the get pressure's those... still there. No, he get, get the... Oh, no. Yeah, so yeah, Keo takes a second. 
second game as well. Oh, and that's that's, that's two out of three. So yeah, that's it. Yeah, Kiyo will be moving on. Pretty dominant for the most part. A lot of what we saw in that last match, too. Funny enough, the score line's very similar as well. The loser only taking one round in both of those.